Hey you guys, and welcome to day 13, maybe, yeah, day 13 of vlog -est, vlogist slash Veda. Um, I was supposed to make a video about something today, but I've lost my schedule and I cannot remember what it was. Um, things have been pretty stressful around here. I gave Alyssa the wrong day to come back and start making videos, and then we missed Saturday, which then I thought I had missed my video day. It is a lot of confusion, but we're back on track now, and we should be here through the rest of the month. Um, like I said, I we had a schedule, and it was really, like, specific and planned out, like, what we were going to do on what days, but I've, I went back to work on Monday, which is yesterday, and, like, just doing office work, and trainings and getting like all of my reports that I need for the school year written and everything updated and ready to go in all of my files so that when I start back to school next Wednesday I'm 100% up to date and I'll have my catalog my catalog I feel like I'm just making words up that don't make sense but I'll have all of my paperwork caught up and I'll have my calendar up to date and things will just be easy peasy breezy ready to go at least that's the the theory, my hair's falling down. It's been up all day. Um, <laughs> in these nice braided pigtails because I overslept and didn't want to do anything with my face. Um, but we got like our assignments today and I found out I'm not going to be at the school where I've worked the past couple of years and I'm going to be going to a completely different school and working with completely new kids. Um, luckily a lot of those I've already worked with during the summer so I at least, they know who I am and I know who they are kind of things so trying to have a positive attitude about things Alyssa and I that's something that I think a lot of times we struggle with we both have had a lot of just different difficult things that we've dealt with um like little minor things and then really big things you know um and I know that's the same for everybody but we both are really big believers in you know in like the philosophy that you can take and try to make the best out of a situation or you can become really doom and gloom about it and I think that both of us try to be really positive but sometimes it seems like all of the negative things pile up and it gets to the point that it's really hard to find like the positives in a situation and then like like clearly obviously like I still have a job that's great and I'm really happy to still have a job but I also am leaving kids that I have a great relationship with that I've worked really really hard to get them to an emotionally stable level. I'm leaving a group of coworkers, the teachers at my school, um, who are my friends, who I won't get to see on a daily basis, who it'll be difficult to see them in person just because of, like, our work schedules and things like that. Like, obviously, I'll still see them. I'll still go and make it a point to have a relationship with them. But those things are a lot easier when you're an adult and you're in the working world, especially in, like, a small town, I think, specifically, it's really difficult sometimes to maintain friendships with people who are outside of your job. You know, Alyssa and I have been friends since fifth grade, and it's, there are days when I'm like, have I even talked to her today? You know, and we are in constant communication with each other, and there are still times when I feel like our relationship is strained, and it's struggling, and we're struggling to maintain it. So, like, that's a difficulty that I'm facing. I'm going into a set of kids with whole new problems that I'm not used to, and a staff that I don't know as far as that school goes and that's intimidating and it's a little scary um you know I think Alyssa and I have both been really honest with you guys about having like anxiety issues and struggling with like stress management and anxiety management which is ironic since I do behavioral therapy in the classroom like it's kind of ironic that I deal with anxiety related issues and sometimes really struggle to maintain control of my anxiety um I have been in a state of constant panic today um, knowing that we were going to get caseload assignments and that I had no idea what was going on. Um, I feel a lot better actually now that I have like a goal and a plan in mind but it's been a really really rough day and um, I don't know I feel like I just made like a blog a vlog that was really rambly and kind of a downer but the main point is that um, you, things are going to be a lot different for me in the next upcoming day weeks and months and for the rest of this this calendar year and then for the school year, like I'm going to be working to build a program somewhere um, where there's not not a great response to our program. And it's a program I really believe in, so I'm glad I have that opportunity. 
but um, if I look a little harried in upcoming videos, it's because I'm probably close to losing my mind. Anyway, um, Alyssa will see you guys tomorrow with a video about something, and hopefully I'll find my schedule before Friday and know what I'm... Thursday, not Friday. Thursday, and know A, what days I'm making videos, and B, what I'm making videos about. But thanks for listening, um, and I hope you guys have had A, a better Tuesday than I've had, and B, I hope you have a great tomorrow, because Wednesday is categorically the worst day of the week. See you tomorrow. Bye.